Okay, my last comment before we take a look at the equipment is about the linearization that we're going to use for this experiment. You've seen linearization before. <clears throat> I'll just remind you, the idea is to take whatever equation that you're trying to linearize and write it in the form of a straight line. And what we call y here will be the independent quantity, and what we call x will be the dependent quantity. There may or may not be a slope. This b could be 0, and m um, um, there may not or not there may or may not be an intercept, a y-intercept. This could be zero, and the slope is composed of all sorts of other things that may go in here. So that the idea is to find variables from your existing equation um, that rearrange this to get the uh, uh, into the form of a straight line, and then plot that line and measure the slope. So the equation that we want, we've seen before mu naught l i1 i2 over 2 pi distance between the wires you have to linearize this I'm not going to do it for you if you have a linearization that you want to check run it by me send me an email call me up I will I'll verify it um, but you need to you need to come up with what is y and what is x for this I will give you one hint I1 equals I2 equals, we'll just call it I with no subscript because the same amount of current runs through both wires because we just run the current all the way through with the wiring. Okay, and also the other hint is the see the hint is see the handout. There already is a handout that we've looked at before. We have it's on Blackboard and it has a process, it has steps that you can take. Um, they're not always completely clear because you have to make decisions, but you should be able to apply those steps to come to get, to come and get the linearization. And you'll need this linearization uh, because your goal, your objective quantity, is mu naught. We want to put that on the slope uh, as the slope of the line that you. Uh, plot when you, you plot your data points they should line up in a straight line we'll get the slope and the uncertainty of the slope so we'll have a confidence interval and then you'll be able to compare that confidence interval to the accepted value and you'll if if they're close if if the accepted value is inside your confidence interval yay it worked if they're far apart then it didn't work and you you need to report that result you can also separately calculate the error because we have a known accepted value and we have your measured value and you can compare the error, the size of the error, to the uncertainty and uh, evaluate the success of the experiment based on how those two things go. Okay, um, we're going to have to look at the equipment next. <clears throat>